Hello, Dr. Scott Taylor here from Southwest Spine and Rehab in Mesa, Arizona. Daisy Lillenquist, our physician assistant at Southwest Spine and Rehab and Southwest Family Medical. Daisy is going to demonstrate a myofascial trigger point injection. So what she's doing right now is we have wonderful Mallory. She's been having some soreness in her upper right trapezius muscle. So Daisy was palpating around and she's finding a, a trigger point, which is a taut and tight tight fibers of the tissue and she's going ahead and marking a spot that she wants to do the injection and that's what that tiny little mark was that she put on right there so daisy's going to clean the area with just an alcohol prep wipe so sanitize that area and she's already preloaded a syringe um, has lidocaine in it and it's going to numb that area um, she's also you're going to see here with a can of cold spray which will completely numb the area so that the patient is really not going to feel anything other than the cold. And so on video, it's really difficult to see um, the injectable because the needle is so small, but she's kind of fanning out as she injects the lidocaine and it's kind of helping to break down that tissue from the inside out. And then once a patient has gotten a trigger point, oftentimes we'll massage the area, we'll stretch the area, and we'll give you some things to do at home. Most patients report some mild discomfort, maybe some soreness once the lidocaine is rubbed off, but nothing more than you would expect to get with a massage. Now, right after a lot of times, uh, Daisy and our therapy team, they'll do just some different massages in that area to help move around that lidocaine and to help break down that tissue. So that's a very basic uh, explanation of a myofascial trigger point injection in the office.